Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Mini Betrayal, and this is Factorio Megabase, where we are in the process of setting up each of our thousand sciences per minute. Next on the list is Utility Science. Now, Utility Science, I have three pages of notes for this, um, so we're not going to get all of this done in one episode. But I've come over here, where we have uh, a lot of nice resources for us, actually. Um, there's heaps and heaps of iron, heaps and heaps of copper, stone. There's some crude oil there. There's a little bit more down there near the um, production science that we can uh, pinch as well if we need it. Um, so, yeah, and it's right by the water as well, which is good for um, oil stuff. So I've brought the train up here. Um, oh, I was already out of the train. So, utility science. That is the wrong button. Uh, utility science over here needs processing units, flying robot frames, and low density structures. So for a thousand utility science per minute, or 16 and two thirds per second, we need 7.937 processing units per second to be made. Um, and the processing units themselves, they require iron and copper in various amounts um coal and petrol to make plastic and we also need some of the petrol to go towards making sulfuric acid for the blue circuits um the robots they need uh steel batteries uh well actually let's just look at it flying robot frame steel batteries circuits and electric engine units um batteries require a little bit of sulfuric acid as well um, but otherwise I think it's just iron and copper and actually the electric engines they require lubricant which um, actually throws a bit of a spanner in the works because that requires heavy oil which means we can't just do basic oil processing um, then the low density structures that is just copper steel and plastic so I think I'm actually going to start with the oil setup. Um, so in total we need 554.2 petroleum gas per second and 23.4-ish heavy oil per second. So I'm going to assume all my notes and calculations are correct. If I take 71.88 crude oil and crack that with advanced, or sorry, refine it with advanced oil processing with a bit of water, that will give me all of the heavy oil I need, some of the petrol I need, and a little bit of light oil. If I then crack the light oil into petrol, that will give me another 40-ish petrol per second. So we've got our heavy oil, we've got some of our petrol, then I can take 554 and a bit crude oil, turn that directly into petrol with the basic processing. That doesn't leave me with any extra cracking and stuff to do. So yeah, I'm going to do all of the petrol centrally processed, I think. So here is the oil field. Get rid of some of the trees in the way. Okay, I will spam down um, pump jacks and hook everything up. See how much oil we're actually going to get. Okay, so all of this is now hooked up and I am seeing 1.9 thousand crude oil per second. We need... Oh, my notes, my notes have gone on the floor. 869 per second, so this should be plenty. Right, um, now, as I said, we need uh, 71 of that, or 72, to go into advanced oil cracking. So let me hop back to the train. I'll pick up some oil refineries. I'll also, actually, I'll pick up a few more. I'll pick up some chemical plants as well. I'll pick up some beacons, but not too many. And I'll pick up a couple of stacks of speed modules, a couple of stacks of productivity modules. 
I should also go and get some power up here. Um, I think the closest power is going to be from down there. Okay, let me do some experimentation, see what interesting setups I can come up with. All right, so we are done here. We have one of the ore refineries working on the advanced oil processing. Uh, I haven't plugged in the oil yet, but the water is there. Um, that same water also goes over to this machine here, which cracks all of the light oil from this machine into petrol. Um, I've put some storage tanks around, but that petrol just gets fed straight back into the output over here, where we have another eight machines, um, all turning crude oil directly into petrol with the basic oil processing. Um, then... Yeah, no, yeah, that's right. Uh, the heavy oil uh, comes across here and goes into uh, just directly into lubricant, which is for now is just being stored in a tank. I haven't actually put a heavy oil tank in, so I'll do that just in case. Um, but yeah, this is now all done. It's all powered up. All that remains to be done to get this much switched on is to flip that around. And that should, yeah, everything kicks into action. We're making petrol nice and quickly and um, we are making uh, lubricant as well these two are more buffer chests than anything else but they're there and I can pull the petrol out over in this direction right next to the lubricant except I can't actually put um, yeah. let's do that so we can see what's going on there we go. Petrol lubricant. Right. So that is the first part of the puzzle done. Next, I want to mine iron and copper, I think. So in total, we need 168 and a half iron per second and 245 and a half. Well, actually, 245.7 almost copper per second. So, I suppose it's a good thing we have all of these massive deposits around. I don't know if we'll get these just from these two deposits. Anyway, let's see. Uh, I'll hop back to the train, get rid of all of the oil stuff I'm carrying, and pick up some mining equipment. Alright, so we're done. Uh, so as I said, we need 245 coal per second. Um, that is, well, with our mining productivity bonus, this would do it for us. Um, but I've elected to um, gather two of these um, deposits here. Um, now 245 divided by the speed of a blue belt gives us about six belts worth. So we've got six belts coming out there in total. Um, for iron, we need 168 iron per second. Uh, so 331 miners should be easily able to do that, especially with the productivity bonus. Uh, we need effectively two belts of iron plates and two belts of steel. So if I bring this up, uh, this turn or this makes um, steel from a compressed belt of iron plates which is what we which is what we're going for and then if I just copy this section I think another two times that will get us a compressed belt of iron twice over so I, I do need to go and pick up some more stuff from the train so I will go do that and then we need to stamp down basically that three times over at the copper to have everything smelted up. All right, so I think, oh, now I think that's all done. Um, okay, there is one more raw resource we need and that is coal. We need some coal for the plastic. Um, And I think I might have neglected to look for any closer coal. So we might have to go down all the way to there to get that one. Uh, it's not too far. We've we've gone further. So um, let's just make sure I've still got miners on me. Um, I'll pick up a few more. That's not miners. 
Shouldn't need that many. We only need uh, 22 and a half coal per second. So, yeah, it should be easy by comparison. Here it is. Clear it off. Oh. Let's try pressing that to clear it off. Grab our blueprint. Um. That will probably get us enough coal, to be honest. How much is that? That is 38 miners. You know what? I will put down another row next to it. Just to be on like the uber, uber safe side. Okay. So, tidy up a little bit at the back. Merge at the front. Like that. Okay, and we'll bring this north. Um, yeah, I'll just bring it directly north, pretty much. Okay, and I will leave that... There. Uh, so that's relatively near the... Um, the petrol so we can turn it into plastic pretty easily okay uh, it does need power so uh, does it have any closer power eh. I'll just bring it down south from here I think okay so that is all of the intermediate products required for utility science uh, no I lied it's all of the raw resources there are a couple more intermediate products I would like to make this episode I would like to get the plastic and the sulfuric acid setup. So sulfuric acid. Actually, I might not do sulfuric acid. I will get sulfur set up. So sulfur is just water and petrol. That's easy. Um, and plastic is coal and petrol. So uh, I haven't actually counted these up. Let me count up exactly how much of each of these we need. All right, so we need 58.715 plastic per second. Uh, I think... Whereabouts is it? Here. This makes two belts worth of plastic from nine machines. I think if I copy this... It should be golden, really. Um, so I'll pop that... Uh, ooh, can't quite pop it there. Yeah, I'll pop that. You know what? There. Okay, uh, so the coal wants to go in on this belt at the back. Too many trees in the way. Okay, and then we've got two belts of plastic coming out there. Um, I do need to go and get uh, a couple more pipes and some chemical plants. Um, right, and then we want, we're want we trying to feed petrol in the back. So that actually wants to go there. And I'd like to feed it in the other side as well. I think if I move that down by one, everything is still powered. That will work. Alright, let me go and get the stuff to finish that. Alright, so it's not going to start making plastic just yet because we haven't switched on the coal. Uh, but they have all filled up nice and quickly with petrol. Lovely. The other thing we need is sulphur. So let me count up how much sulphur we need. Okay, I think we only need 8.89 sulfur per second, so if I just pop that down there, and of course it's the wrong way around, uh, you know what, let's pop one there, making it sulfur. So that makes 2 sulfur per second at a crafting speed of 2.5 with a productivity of 1.3, so that is... 2 times 1.3 times... 2.05 okay if I put down a couple more of these what's your crafting speed 
Mm, oh, you're not actually touching that. Okay, uh, let's move you to there then. That gives you a crafting speed of four. So let's try two times 1.3 times four is 10.4. This makes enough sulfur all on its own. So I just need to give that petrol and water. Water is up here at the moment. So I think, okay. If I move that tank to there, I can squeeze the water through here and into there. That will start making a sulfur nice and quickly, but not quite that quickly. Um, then I need to get it out of there and put it on a belt. Sulfur. Okay, uh, the last thing I need to do to get everything else switched on is just to put a power pole there. Um, I'll also throw down a few radars and then we'll have a check, make sure everything I've done so far is working. Okay, so up here we are getting iron plates and we are getting steel plates. Don't know where that robot came from. Um, down here we are getting copper. Let's check to make sure we're getting copper plates. Times six, that looks... Wrong. That looks wrong. Oh no, it's not wrong. Okay. As long as that belt is turned, we're safe. Okay, this is only just arriving here, which is why... Um, we're a little bit slow on some of these, but that should fully compress all six of these belts now. There we go, and the end ones are switching on. Marvellous. Um, let's see, we, we know we're already making the sulphur. Let's have a quick check on plastic. Okay, coal hasn't arrived yet. Oh, there it is. There we go, lovely amounts of plastic, about 59 per second, if I remember correctly. So, um, yeah. That is as far as I'm going to take it this episode. So we've got a whole bunch of materials actually in surprisingly close proximity compared to how spread out some of the previous builds have been. But we've got iron, steel, copper, plastic, sulfur, um, and a little bit of lubricant as well. All right here. So the iron and the copper will go towards largely making circuits. Uh, the copper and the steel, along with any plastic that doesn't get used for circuits, will go towards low-density structures. So low-density structures on their own take 170 copper per second, uh, as well as the vast majority of our plastic, actually. Uh, they take 45, sorry, 42 and a half plastic per second. 16 plastic go to advanced circuits for the productivity modules and yeah i think that's that's all the plastic um and then there's a little bit of steel that goes towards making engines as well but that will all come next episode uh, i'm gonna see if i can keep these episodes a little bit on the shorter side in the meantime i will say thank you very much for watching and i will see you again soon